like a regular dad. I'm a cool dad. How are you guys doing? My name is Kevin. You already know that. And we like to talk about high and low and luxury and everything in between on this channel. Welcome. Hope you're having a nice day. I don't know what this shirt is. I don't know if I like it. Don't judge me. So today, let's talk about bag fails. That's my favorite because they're so ugly. Before we get into this, though, let's talk about my sense of the day. First of all, I want to thank you, Scentbox. It is the one, the only, the one, Dolce and Gabbana. Gabbana, if you're nasty. Um, so this is a super, it's another one of those like super 90 cents. Still smells wonderful. It's very duty, like manly, but not. They make a deodorant in this scent that I actually really, really like more than the cologne. But um, this is definitely, it's a, it's a staple in a lot of people's collections. So it does smell good. I actually have never owned it up until this point, but I've owned the deodorant a lot. Is that weird? Designer deodorant, that's a whole other topic for a whole nother day. Today's topic though is designer bag fills. Now, I know we like to laugh at the silly things that designers put us through as far as ugly bags. I would like to start with a few of my favorite that I love to hate so much. So, in the early 2000s, Coach was, I don't know if they were, like, trying to find themselves or what, but Coach was really, really going through it there for a while. I know that you all have seen the many, many lives that Coach has done the patchwork bags. why I don't know actually I was about to, I was about to sit here and say that I don't know anybody that would have one of those but I literally know people that still have those bags and they're just every time I see them I want to go like go get sick in a trash can I just I can't if you are watching this and you own one of these bags don't take it personally I just don't like them at all and then we've got these other suspicious, just of the time coach bags that I just, what were they thinking? And it gets worse. Were you all around for all the weird, crazy bags that Louis Vuitton came out with? Why? Like the Comme des Garçons, one that they did with the holes in it. Why? What? I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't think that I understand fashion or understand like handbags because they just come out with some of the craziest stuff sometimes. And these other Louis Vuitton ones that are just mm, not it, not it at all. I don't know why they do things like this to us. Maybe to, um, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Because a lot of times, the uglier the bag, the more that it sells. Like the, the furry Fendi bag that looks like somebody like killed their dog and like turned him into a purse. I don't know. What are your thoughts on ugly bags? Do you like them because they're different or are you in the same boat as me and you just cringe and you don't know why anybody would buy them? That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I don't know about, about this kind of stuff. And like some brands that we know make their whole, make their whole thing about ugly bags. But for those of us that are into like the regular luxury houses, I guess. Whatever they make an ugly bag, they just really, really stick out. Now, speaking of LV, there is the the infamous trash bag. Like, not the not the trash bag, but like the one that's like uh, 
a mishmash of like cigarettes, and like cigarette whole like ah uh, words of cigarette cases and stuff and like actual trash that was all put together. I I have gotten that it was like like an art piece or whatever that never got turned into a bag. But I also have like read that it was a bag that they actually produced. I can't find the real story that's in there somewhere about whether or not it was an actual bag, but it's atrocious. Louis Vuitton, as we know, makes choices. They don't always work out. Sometimes they do. It really just depends on the creative minds that come up with this stuff at the time. But, um, yeah, that's really all I got today. I just really wanted to see if you all remembered any of these bag mistakes or bag flops that have come out. And again, if you own one of these bags, it's okay. I just don't like them. But you can probably agree with some of these. The prob probably the the ones that I absolutely hate the most are um, the two that the two designs that Coach came out with. The one with the small CCs all over it, and then the the design that they came out where the CCs were like squiggles like all over the bag, and they just looked like really bad knockoffs. But yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for hate watching this one because some of you all may still have some of these bags, and that's okay. But uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Please love yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Say something nice to a stranger, for goodness sakes. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.